Hey guys, welcome to another video here at Cloud Colubrid. So I'm here with Pumpkin. And as you know, if you've been watching my channel, I had nine eggs from Pumpkin, two survived, they hatched, and they had their first shed a couple of days ago. So I, I put them in their little bin. So I'm gonna show you them and we're gonna feed them. Or I should say we're gonna attempt to feed them for the first time. I'm gonna start off with frozen thawed. If that doesn't work, we'll try live. But uh, I'm gonna go get my coffee right now. So get yours and we're gonna start this video. So we're about to feed the snakes right now, but before we do, if you guys didn't know, usually snakes that come out of the egg when they're newborn, a lot of them don't like to eat their refused food. Some of them want to eat lizards. If you're talking about like hognose snakes, they're known for wanting to eat toads. So sometimes the babies are hard to get on pinkies. You got to start off with toads or use like a toad scent, rub the toad on the pinky with hognose. Now with like Mexicana style king snakes, those are known for being picky, fussy eaters as babies. They're born thinking they only want to eat lizards. So you got to start them off with lizards, scent the pinkies with lizards. Now corn snakes are a little bit easier. They're known to be easier. A lot of them will eat pinkies right away. Sometimes they don't want to eat frozen thoughts. So you got to start off with live. So this is the first time I'm ever feeding a snake that just came out of the egg. And I'm really excited. I don't know what to expect. So for this, we're going to be using one day old pinkies. I breed my own rodents, so I have these on hand. And if they don't accept them, I'm going to try live. I'm a little nervous, a little nervous. Let's see what happens. Oh Whoa. Now was that a strike to eat or a defensive strike? I don't know. It appears like those are just defensive strikes. Now one of the keys to doing this is to be real subtle. Don't make any real sharp movements. And you really just gotta be patient because sometimes these baby snakes will take a long time to decide that they wanna eat. Just be real patient. It's an amazing feeling try to feed a snake for the first time when you produced it it's your responsibility and this one I'm not sure if it's interested but it's looking at the pinky whoa got it wow so the first time attacking the pinky and he or she got it now let's see if it's actually gonna eat the pinky or just play with it and drop it because this is the first time it ever had food so it doesn't know what it is Grab it again. 
I don't know why I keep saying she. So I'm gonna cover this up. I don't want to. I don't want them to be scared at all. So let's see if they actually eat them, or they just play around. Remember, this is its first time eating anything. It's just used to eating the egg yolk, absorbing that. So this is its first meal. So this is my first time feeding baby snakes that I hatched out myself. But what I'm trying to do here is not scare the snake. Let it know I'm not a threat. Just show the pinky, let it smell, and hopefully the natural instincts kick in. Sometimes they don't want to eat or they only want to eat live. So for your enjoyment, I'm speeding this up a little bit. This is about five or six times the actual speed. I've been sitting here for a while and, uh, you know, sometimes things just don't happen right away. So I'm not sure if this is like a defensive strike, just trying to get me away. I'm hoping when it does strike the pinky, even if it is a defensive strike, that it could just get that nice taste of the pinky in its mouth. And then it might say, oh, wow, you know what? This tastes really, really good. It might actually be food. So I've been trying for a little while now. I'm starting to think it's just defensive. It doesn't want to eat. Just trying to get me away. Um, I'll, I'll try a couple more minutes. And if it doesn't work, I'm going to go for the live well, snake got out of the bin. Maybe if I drop the pinky, it'll just walk up to it and eat it. Well, maybe not. All right, let's try this again. Just be real subtle. Now I'm speeding this up a little bit. Otherwise, you'll be here all day. So far, it doesn't look like it's going to eat it. I might have to feed this pinky to my Pac-Man frog, but um, I'll give it a couple more shots and see what happens. Oh, wow. So check that out. He or she got the pinky. I didn't think... I didn't think it was going to happen. I didn't think it was going to happen. I was about to get a live pinky. But that's just amazing. So both snakes are eating. Now we're going to come back and check to see if they actually eat the pinky or just play around with the pinky. So you could see right there. The pinky's right in his or her belly. So it's a real success. I'm really happy about this. You know, it's different when you buy a snake from the store and it gives you trouble eating, but you bought it as a frozen thawed eater. When you actually produce a baby yourself and you had part of it and that one also ate, you could see the pinky in its belly. You know, you have a responsibility. You have to make sure that it eats. So this is just a great feeling. So both of the babies ate. We checked, they have nice full bellies. I was scared they were gonna start eating and just let it go because they never ate anything before. So this was the first time. And the second snake that I offered the food to, you can see, just kept, kept giving me like defensive strikes, running away. I had to just stay patient, real patient. Keep going next to the snake with the pinky, but don't chase it. Don't try and chase it with the pinky. Just kind of let it know it's there, and then finally it strikes. So just being patient helped out, and I got lucky this time. So I definitely got lucky. The bellies are nice and full. I'm going to keep checking up on them. I'm going to be putting them on a feeding plan of every four to five days since they're newborns. Their metabolism is fast. They need that food to grow, so, and then after that, I'm gonna sex them, see which one's male or female, use the popping technique. Probably do that in about two weeks. You know, they just came out of the egg, they had their first male. They don't wanna be messed with, just let them be. And then when the time comes, I'll see what they are. 
and uh, those colors are gonna start coming in. The Amel Oka tees, they get better and better with age. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'm so glad I could record this and we could share this together, joining me on the journey. Now they ate, I had my coffee, but now it's time for me to have a nice lunch. So I'm gonna go eat. I'm gonna keep you guys posted on these babies and I hope you enjoyed the video. Have a good weekend and I'll catch you in the next one.